when I found you. I saw raw, untamed stat skills. And beyond that, something truly special. Something inside me has always been there. And I was awake. I need help. Do you learn best with your mind and your hands? If you want to be trained in the fast-growing technical career field for employment after high school, there are many exciting opportunities available for juniors and seniors at the Lancaster County CTC next year in medical administrative assistant, painting and interior finishes, precision machi machining and computer-aided ma manufacturing, and others. Please see your school counselor today to get more information about open programs and an application for CTC. Attention all 9th and 10th grade students planning on to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a spring financial aid night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistancy, Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Come to, lear come to learn more about career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. The Cloister FFA is proud to announce the results of Spring Regional CDEs. Our chapter was very well represented on Tuesday, competing against students from other chapters in Schuylkill, Lebanon, Berks, Chester, and Philadelphia counties in a variety of agricultural topics. Many have been studying since the fall in preparation for this event. Some of the things they had to do were identify different wild birds, plants, and mammal tracks, make a corsage and flower arrangement, demonstrate how to restrain the dog and cat, and calculate <coughs> the appropriate Bless amount of medication to give to a specific animal. Bless you. Oh, thank you. And identify different scents and food safety violations. Without further ado, here are the results. In floriculture, second in the county and 15th overall, freshman Madison Stewart. <laughs> food science. 7th in the county, sophomore Maxi Benari, and 6th in the county, sophomore Hannah Marnock. Also 3rd in the county, senior Shai Marnock, and 1st in the county, and 5th overall, out of 42, junior Safi Sintar. In vet science, 10th in the county, sophomore Jenna Lang, 2nd in the county, and 9th overall, out of 62, senior Taylor Kozlowski. Wildlife, 9th in the county, senior Lauren Cockle, and 7th in the county, sophomore Jenna Ellis. 5th in the county, sophomore Abby Zaria. 2nd in the county, and 10th overall, junior Brooke Wilson. 1st in the county, and 6th overall, out of 110, freshman Lily Moore. If you see any individuals in the hallway, give them a fist bump to help celebrate their accomplishments. Way to go, guys. Now over to Mace Windu with the news. 
How are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about... Mount Kilauehu, a large shield volcano on the island of Hawaii in the Hawaiian island chain, has begun to erupt. The volcanic activity began yesterday after a series of minor to moderate earthquakes struck the island, most likely exciting the subterranean magma beneath the mountain. The governor of Hawaii has declared a state of emergency and has activated National Guard reservists to help evacuate people from the area immediately around the volcano. Thus far, 1,700 people have been evacuated from areas where large lava fissures have begun to open up in streets and backyards. It is unknown when the climax of the eruption will occur. On this day in history, four students were killed at Kent State University by a National Guardsman. In 1970, some 2,000 students had gathered on campus to protest the harrowing Vietnam War. When the students refused to disband and actually began to throw rocks and taunts at the guardsmen who had been called in, they fired 60 rounds into the crowd, killing eight and injuring nine. Despite the Kent State massacre and other violent protests, it took another five years for the Vietnam War to officially end. Now, over to the main desk or couch and lunch. I'm Emperor Palpatine. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get up. Did you get that guy? Yep. Okay. All right. Today for lunch we have General Tso's chicken with brown rice and a biscuit and margarine. Southern fried chicken and biscuits. McFrother burger. An Italian wogi. Chicken Caesar salad. French fries. Stir fried veggies. Pepper strips with dip. Mandarin oranges, fresh fruit or slushy, and also blue milk. Now over to sports. <laughs> what? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. What was the point of Rose anyways? Like, the dumbest character in the entire Star Wars series. Like, Jar Jar Binks did a better job. In sports results, Boys Lacrosse, Laos vs. Mannheim Township, Volleyball, Laos vs. Mannheim Central, and Girls Lacrosse, Laos at Mannheim Township. Attention all current juniors, sophomores, and freshmen interested in playing fall sports. Sign-ups will be on Schoology this year. Sign-ups will be available from May 1st through May 18th. Sign-ups are today. Sign up today. Don't put it off. Fall sports include boys and girls soccer, football, field hockey, girls tennis, girls volleyball, co-ed golf, and co-ed cross country. Today in sports, volleyball is home versus Solanco and softball is away at Solanco. Now back to the main desk. <clears throat> Pick on the senior bidding will be from May 1st to May 7th. You can bid on your favorite senior during a homeroom and lunches in the cafeteria. The bidding will go up by, incre by increments of 25 cents. You can secure your senior for $20. See? Pick on a senior day. Get your bids in ASAP. Pick on a senior day bidding ends on May 7th. Hey students, be sure to tune in to WJL TV 8 this Sunday on, at 1230 to see your quiz bowl team take on Middletown in the semifinals of the Wellspan Brain Busters competition, the team has already won at least $1,000 and is playing for a chance to win $5,000. So be sure to tune in. We sure you will enjoy it. Hey, juniors! We know what you've been thinking. How much better you could make the morning announcements if you were on them! Senioritis has hit us. We play the same videos time after time. We haven't had lunch videos in months. This is the first time we have done something different in a long while. We'll now ah! show how much better it can be. Just send Mr. Bischoff a school G message, and you can be a part of the best show here at FTA AM. Do it! Do it now! It's the best Do it now! You got it! 